Today on FAQ Fridays, we're going to be talking about understanding the importance of UL listings. My name is Curtis Ward. Today I'm joined with Dustin Haddock, S5's Vice President of Research and Development. Dustin, thanks for taking the time to come and chat with us today. It's happy to be here. Now, I've heard the term UL listing a lot. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Can you tell me a little bit about what UL listing is? So to understand UL listing, it'd be best to first understand UL. Underwriters Laboratory is a testing lab. They're also what's known as an NRTL. An NRTL is a nationally recognized testing laboratory. There's only a handful of them that are at high level uh, testing laboratories. UL also then is a, they write standards, um, but they don't write standards in a vacuum. They, they'll get pushed by the industry that something needs to be done in terms of safety and UL will put together committees to then come up with uh, an adequate standard. Once that standard goes through an ANSI approved process, it becomes a nationally recognized standard. Because UL helped write it, you'll see it says UL 2703 or UL 1703, um, but that doesn't mean UL is the only entity that can test towards it. So. As long as it's a NRTL, I can be Intertech, which is another NRTL, uh, TUV, uh, QAI, there's some others as well, CSA, who can then test to UL standards and offer listings. So with that said, a UL listing means that UL has evaluated a product to the entirety of a standard which means there could be number a number of tests within the standard that a product may or may not comply with or be relevant to a product. Uh, when a product is listed, that means UL has looked at the entire scope of the standard and listed a part or a system to the whole scope of the standard. UL has other things too, other marks that are often used, UL classified, uh, a UL recognized component. Recognized component means it doesn't, the part can't be tested to all the standard, but it can, pieces of the standard are relevant and can be tested in that way. You'll see, I mean, just run a quick Google search, pl plug in UL, and you'll see like one of the autofill says UL approved. UL doesn't approve anything. Hmm. Um, okay. That, that's a, a wrong way to use the terminology. UL tests things. Um, the, the short and simple sweet version of it is standards are created as a safety mechanism. Um, UL can then test to that standard, but they're not a government agency that can approve a product line, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you everyone for watching. FAQ Fridays is a new series that is going to be released every Friday, so if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, as well as if you have a comment or question that you want answered, feel free to comment down below. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next Friday. Weekly series, F This is where I always screw up. Hit like, hit view. <laughs> Ignore it one more time and we're almost done. <laughs> <laughs>